some tails from West Garden of Maine. We're going to learn how to eat a lobster. First thing you do is twist the legs off, comes off real easy. Then you want to take the little rubber thing off that was to protect you when it was still kicking. Take the crusher claw and squeeze it, break it. Then you can just pull up meat right out. It's delicious. And then you take the, the tail and bend it backwards. It pops right off. Squeeze it together and hear it crack. Then pry it apart. And what you got right there is a delicacy. Reminds me, speaking of delicacies, mother took me to a sushi restaurant once in Portland, Maine. I never go to the city, but we had a good time. I was a little nonplussed. I'd never seen a sushi restaurant. It looked kind of odd. I went in and the, the menu was written in Japanese. I couldn't read it. But I knew one thing. Odd of the special. It's always going to be delicious. So I had two specials set in. The waiter brought it over and put it in front of me. I couldn't believe it. It was still twitching. I hadn't even thought about being caught. I hadn't even seen the flame. I, I called for the manager. Manager come right over and said, what is it, sir? And I said, well, your waiter just brought this food to me and it ain't even been caught. He said, no, sir, this is a sushi restaurant. That's sushi. It's a delicacy. We invented it in Japan. I said, I don't think so, mister. Not a, <laughs> no, sir. We invented it in Booth Bay Harbor. We call it bait. There you have it. Hey, take care of each other. Stay separated. And welcome to day 23 of Tales from West Gardner, Maine. I'm a little nervous this morning. I uh, had to get my bike out because mother says I can't get enough distance on foot between us. So <laughs> here I go. Anyway, I'm a little nervous getting on the highway because Grammy was out the other day driving. She's up in age. She took three of her buddies into town for an ice cream. Well, she got pulled over. Police officer come up and check the license registration. Says, you're all set except for, madam, you got to pick up the pace. You're driving too slow. She said, what do you mean? I always drive the speed limit exactly. He said, oh, you went in this case. You were going way too slow. Well, sir, I was driving the speed limit. Said so right there in that sign, 22 miles an hour. She said, madam, that's not the speed limit sign. That's the route number. Oh, all right, I'll pay attention. He said, but wait a minute, you got three buddies in here. And uh, every one of them looks scared to death. They're holding on, they're pasty white. They look like they just seen the ghost. What happened to them? Well, she said, we just got off Route 102. <laughs> well, there you have it. Hey, enjoy your day. Stay away from each other. Distance, distance, distance. Be kind to each other, eh? Welcome to day 24 of Tales from West Garden of Maine. This is Stream right behind me right here. Yeah. Hey, I got to tell you, one of the fellows in town was taking care of his uncle, thought he might have the virus, put him on a special diet of pancakes and flounder. His uncle said, do pancakes and flounder help me if I get the virus? Nope, not at all, but he said, I can, uh, I can slide it under your door. Anyway, that way you won't have to have contact. But anyway, what I wanted to tell you about was my Uncle Wilbur. Wilbur got married at 97 years old. We were all shocked. The whole town was up in arms. He'd been single his whole life. I, when I started the paper, I run right over to his house. I said, Wilbur, what were you thinking? Why are you getting married at 97? You're wealthy? You got a nice place on the lake? What were you thinking? Well, Gary, he says, uh, it's like this. If she's a good woman, she was worth waiting for. <laughs> if she ain't, I ain't got that long to live with her. <laughs> hey, take care of each other. And, uh, be kind to each other. We all need it. Special time. Yeah?